Hello and welcome YouTube land to another edition of Teacher Talks Second Grade. Here I have another book review I'm going to do of Who Would Win? This is Triceratops versus Spinosaurus. So this is a level O on the GRL and if you're familiar with my videos you know that I level all the books in my classroom so I teach second grade been doing it about seven years and I do book reviews and kind of general uh, academics for the first second and third grade classroom so please hit like and uh, if you like this video and please subscribe and check out the other videos I have for you so on this guy here um, this is going to be nonfiction and if you know the Who Would Win series, they're going to tell you all these different aspects about these two dinosaurs or these two creatures or whatever it is that they are um, putting the book on. And then they're going to tell you all these different aspects. And at the very end, it's going to tell you who would win if these two battled. So towards the end of the book, I'll give you kind of a spoiler alert warning. And at that point, if you don't want to know who wins this battle, maybe it's time for you to turn off the video. If you do want to know, keep on watching. I'll tell you who would win, or at least who the book is saying who would win. I'm not going to read the whole book to you. The whole idea of this is to kind of just give you a review so that if you like it, you can go to your library and check this out, or maybe go buy it on Scholastic or buy it on maybe online, maybe on Amazon, something like that. So a big thank you to Jerry Pilata and Bob Bolster. You guys are putting together awesome books here, and I can tell you in my classroom, we absolutely love these. So, with no further ado, let's dive in. Triceratops versus Spinosaurus. <clears throat> so, as the Who Would Win series does, they kind of tell you a general overview of some of these different creatures or animals, or in this case, dinosaurs. And they'll explain, especially on the dinosaur editions, there's a few of these. They kind of explain how we know this, telling the kids or students that the dinosaurs no longer exist, but we still have facts about them and how we know um, some of these facts. Different kinds of tools, whether it's standard tools or electronic devices to, to, um, to gain this knowledge of what the dinosaurs were like. Explaining to the students how big these dinosaurs were, and these guys do a really nice job of it in this book. It's hard for students to understand the enormous size. And again, I feel like they do in a really nice size of this. If you're a teacher out there, one year I, uh, we, we traced out and measured and actually made a dinosaur out of chalk on the uh, basketball courts. And it was a really awesome lesson. So help the students to understand how big these guys were. All right, back to the book. Dinosaurs and what kind of hunters they were those of them that were hunters. And wow, what really cool fossils we have here showing those bones. How the dinosaurs were different colors. Where they were. The speed, how fast. Ah, their defensive armor and offensive weapons. That is really, really cool. All right, we're starting to get pretty close to the end of this book. This is the battle. This is the fight. The dinosaurs are going at it here. So I'm going to turn the page another one or two pages. One more. And the next page is going to tell us who would win. So this is a good time to sign off if you don't want to know, or if you do want to know, we're going to turn the page. You can see right here, it looks like the battle is starting. Here we go for the answer. Huh, and this one's kind of interesting. In most of their books, they actually tell you in words who would win. In this one here, you have to do a little investigating. I see the fossils. I see the bones. Oh, I see something. Which was the dinosaur that had this? And it looks like it kind of went right through the neck of this other dinosaur. Which one was that? Do you remember? Was that the Triceratops or was that the Spinosaurus? So that's their prediction on who would win. This is really cool. You can kind of keep a little tally sheet on the size and the speed. Which one was faster? Which one was bigger? All right. Hope you enjoyed this. 
If you liked it, please, again, subscribe to, the, to this channel and push that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know any other books you want me to do a review on. Thanks so much. Have a great day.